Hey guys, welcome to Season 2, Episode 9 of Lucifer. Here we go. Sunshine, beautiful people, expensive cars, the glamorous life. Get ready to see the real Los Angeles on this thrill ride tour. Why? When Los Angeles has so much to offer. You'll see the famous shop Pooch Pouch, the store that sells purses for purse-sized dogs. Where are they? God. That humongous house in the distance, the owner, he moved out here with just $10 and a drink. Within three years, he was running the largest underground sex club in the country. Los Angeles <laughs> is also a place where you can away the teats. We will show you the best molly in the city. <laughs> My nightclub, Lux, the city's crowning achievement. My brother and I are Amazing. celebrating. Amazing. He, he's God. And if what you say is true. What, that he's got a stick so far up his ass you can see it when he yawns? That he's a fallen angel. Oh, Damn! That's it. <laughs> it's not my home, it never was. And neither was hell. No. No, that was somewhere I was sent as a punishment. Like the DMV, but less screaming. <laughs> so would you say that this is your first... That's, that's, that's great. That's well, a good that's comparison. The Either they're running from something or looking for something. Oh. And which one are you? I'm not the one on the couch. Or they want to get a. <laughs> I so don't know why you would want to move to Los Angeles. Which is it? That's Dean Cooper, the Los Angeles real estate tycoon. Yeah, owns the whole block and most of the biggest developments in the city. Including the entire block that Lux is on. Mm. If somewhat, well, let's say morally ambiguous. Uh, moral ambiguity that he was so famous for may have finally caught up with him. Punctured by this. Black like from a champagne flute. Mm-hmm. You guys, like, the blood's the champagne. Like, when you open a bottle, his neck was the yeah, bottom. Did you get any prints? <laughs> Killer wipe to clean. Okay. You're gonna reassemble all those pieces? I'm fairly certain there are people in hell being forced to do exactly that right now. Oh, I was the kind of kid who did jigsaw puzzles, picture side down. It's fascinating. Mm. That's wrong. What's wrong? Maze. Problem at the Lux. Problem? What? One of the Britney's stubber toe? <laughs> You're leaving? Fix the problem herself, which usually involves knives. What? So, unless you want to be blamed for a full-toed Britney. <laughs> and who are you, lounging around like you own the place? Oh, I actually do own the place. Lucifer Morningstar? You're being evicted. Aren't you supposed to give a notice? Did you well, kill your father? Yes, it is. Your father and I made a deal for me to live here, so I'm sure you and I can come to some arrangement. But tell me, Eric, what is it you desire? I want my father to turn over in his grave. Ooh, hated the old man, eh? Well, I... You have no legal right to be here, so if you don't vacate, I'll have you removed. <laughs> If I were you, I'd leave. That's fine. This is a police matter, no? <sighs> Let's go! Not cool. This is your mother's doing. <laughs> Mom? Oh. You told My her face. you want to stay here on Earth. Don't act like your mother isn't capable of this, Lucifer. <sighs> That's enough help from you today, Mace, thank you. Alright, fine. You can't see it, I'll find someone who will. I don't see it. Of course you don't. Again. I am handling things. Why the hell are you here? Mom and I are trying to find a way back home, so why would she murder some sh Madam Zakini, if I did come up with such a plan, do you think it would be you who figured it out? Whatever you're up to, I will find out. Hmm. You weren't actually involved in that man's death, right? Well, of course not. But might be able to be used to our advantage. Maybe God. Lucifer will agree to come home with us. No, oh, come on. Right. Lucifer loves that place. And no human is going to make him give it up as long as it's still standing. Is that so? I hate this one. Something came up at his club. I don't think he's coming back. Oh, well, don't worry, Chloe. It never stays away for too long, right? Hmm? Oh. Hey, Lucifer. 
Well, that's an interesting theory, but we don't have any evidence that Eric Cooper's the killer. Mm, actually, we do. Prince just came back. Eric Cooper. How did you... <laughs> Never mind, I'll meet you at the Cooper building. You're saying Dean Cooper's son is making deals just an hour after his father was found dead? Yep. Exactly. What could be more suspicious? Hey. By the book, I cannot have you terrorizing him. I would never. Or threatening to tear his arms off. That happened one time. Is that him? That's him. Christy, I know this might be hard to hear, but we have evidence that Eric was in his father's house before he died. Oh we God. live in the same compound. If he's willing to do something as monstrous as turning me out of my house, then killing his father isn't such a stretch, is it? <laughs> oh, the deal's made. How could a sale be made so fast? Dean Cooper died yesterday. Is this ideal for all the property on the strip? There's been a buyer interested in that for years. Eric's dad had it all drawn up and then just let it sit on his desk. Mm. We just wanted to torture the buyer. Yes. This man, the person who owns Lux now, what's his name? Her. It's Eleanor Balloon. Detective? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh huh. I doubt it. But let's go talk to Eleanor Balloon. I think you're in the wrong place, lady. You're Kevin Burnick. I am. Why? You come to take a peek at the legend? According to the docket, one of your clients is a known explosives expert named Patrick O'Neill. I need his help to get my son to come back home with me. Touch me and I will sue you so much. Oh my god. I don't like her. Well, barely an hour after he was killed, you closed on a deal he'd been obstructing for years. Sounds convenient. Sounds like good business to me. Cooper intentionally gave you businesswoman blue balls just to torture you. It's rather cruel. What do you desire? Tell me and it's yours. I want everything Dean Cooper has. Even Lux? Especially that place. That's prime real estate. Oh. I'm going to build a mega mall. A mega mall? Yeah, you know, Jimboree, Sunglass Hut. The accountants I had looking over the deal did find several unreported payments. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You don't hide money like that unless you don't want anyone to find it. Hmm. I'm clueless. I'm not sure she's interested in selling. Well, maybe she'll change her mind after I turn her world into a sphincter loosening nightmare. Ew. Lucifer. I'm sorry about your home. I am, but you have to... We know you build bombs for the mob, Patrick. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The mafia, the cartels, and they hear that we have you in custody, and they think for a second about your ingenious pizza code. They're gonna want to keep you quiet. So she can be my lawyer. I understand your confusion. You're very attractive. I found that can also mean you're not very intelligent. Ouch. Have you ever brought down a building before? I know how it's done. Come on. I need you to destroy a nightclub for me. You gentlemen have no idea who you're dealing with, do you? Well, let me show you. I did not expect this. I feel like he makes a lot of money. Very difficult to convince him to kill this many people. No, Mom, that's that's not what I'm... I may be able to use this to my advantage. You're so ridiculous. A mother doesn't have to agree with her son in order to support him. So, what is it exactly I'm supposed to sit in? <laughs> mom, you're actually being a good mom. For right we now. We have our disagreements, but. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've guests to get back to. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. Oh, no. boy. She is tall and she's really small. Our relationship must give you a lot to talk about. I'm not telling you anything about our sessions. <laughs> 
Hmm. Dean Cooper made several off-the-book six-figure payments to you in the last few weeks. Those payments are off of his books, not off mine. So whose loyalty were you testing at Cooper's company? As privileged information. I just thought you'd want to know we got calls about some kind of an illegal party at Lux. Oh, man. Damn it. Detective, what are you doing with him? I know him. I'll handle this. You sure, Detective? I can read. Lucifer, what the hell were you thinking? Turn the music back on. This place is dead. <laughs> Nice. Well, you heard the lady. Crank it up. Does that mean you're on my side now? Lucifer, this is your home. I've always been on your side. Well, if you're going to stay, come on, stay. <laughs> he really does love this place, doesn't he? Yeah. This place. <laughs> She's got a target My now. son was right about you, Doctor. You are quite insightful. Well, as any parent knows, the best time to get things done is when everyone else is asleep. So, what have we got? This is about more than me. I mean, do you know the history of sin in this place? It was a, an institution decades before I ran it. That crack in that mirror there. That crack is still there from when Ava Gardner threw a scotch glass at Sinatra's head. <laughs> Underneath here, there's prohibition tunnels everywhere. Well, I'm sorry, I can't leave Lux undefended. Really? Okay. Elmer Bloom's entire moving crew is passed out on your floor. The police are going to be here for at least another day. Lux is fine. Listen, when I first came to Earth, I made certain mistakes, all right? I'm just making sure mom doesn't make the same ones. That's it. I'm protecting her. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming either. I'm working here. Indeed you are. And it is literally your job to seduce her and report back to her fiancé's wealthy parents. Oh, something I said. You don't just tempt potential employees, Simon. You also go after potential spouses. Dean Cooper's payments started to you just after his son got engaged to Christy. Care to explain? Oh. So if she didn't cheat, then what happened with Dean Cooper? I told the old man the truth, but it didn't matter. He didn't like her. Hmm. Even if there was no evidence of her cheating, he wanted me to make some. Detective, this man is a professional home wrecker. And when it gets out that he's done, he will be out of business. That will have to be punishment enough. Please. Very well, Detective. Screw you, man. No soon as I walked into that interrogation room, I felt a spark between us. Yeah? Me too. Oh, no. Surprise. I think you were right, Mace. They must be discussing some evil, terrible plans, and we must stop them. No. It's let it play out. What the hell are you so wearing? Safe. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a keeper. I'm not gonna go watch my mother make out with Dan. They're not gonna make out. <laughs> they're gonna. <gasps> I know what oh. they're gonna go do, Mace. Fine, I'll report back. Hey, stop. This is just a uh, oh date. It's not like I wanted to watch anyway. You know, I have my limits. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm going to do this one myself. Oh no. God dang it. Oh, it's worrying. My father, he, he showed me the evidence and I knew it was fake. Christy would never. <laughs> I flew into a rage. Well, if that's the case, Eric Cooper, you're under arrest. No. It was me. It happened all like you said. I'm, I'm the one who did it, not Eric. I think he did it. You two realize that if you confess <laughs> to this crime, there's a good chance you both will go to jail. 
I don't understand. The one of you who didn't do it, you'll lose everything. No, we won't. What? Goodbyes? I thought you were going to fight for this place. Well, it occurred to me that much as I love this place, uh, I can always build a new one. What? I mean, it wasn't the walls that made it my home. The people. Yes. Well, the women. But, but I love this place. place. Okay. So. The city council pushed it through. And I used your uh, little history lesson as inspiration. Lux is protected now. Can't be demolished for development. You saved my home. Well, you'd still have to buy it back from Eleanor Bloom. I'm sure well above market price, but... Aww. You can afford it. Right, well, let me at least buy you dinner tonight to celebrate. Friends help each other out. She saved Lux. Why is it that I'm the only human in your life who knows who you really are? Because you asked me. Remember, you insisted that I show you. Detective Decker has asked you many times. And I always tell her the truth. But you know she doesn't believe you. You could show her your true face. Because you're afraid because that she's never going to... be afraid? Yeah. Of how she might react? Mm -hmm. I completely agree with what she said. What are you doing, man?